Oh, hey, how's it going? Okay, come this way, come on in. I'm excited to show you this. This is gonna be awesome. Today we are going to be making this. Look at it is awesome. Took forever to make and just wait until you see the bottom stand that goes with this. If we only could talk just a little Find a place where the past is forgiven You moved on, I am stuck in the middle Tried to run, but there's nowhere to go Even in my sleep I'm calling out your name But I never wanted things to be This way, this way Okay, what's up everyone? Today we are gonna be using some of these old awesome books. What do I have here exactly? Oh my gosh, I got these from the thrift store, which is pretty cool. This one's nice and old looking. I really, really like this, how vintage the pages are looking. So I feel like this is gonna look pretty awesome on this mannequin here. You know what's awesome about this one? Look, I was just flipping through it recently. And damn, there's some pictures in here. So that's gonna be really cool. What are we gonna be doing with these books exactly? Well, you know what? We are gonna be putting them on this really cool mannequin here. If you all have not seen my last video, please click here and you will see some awesome mannequin paintings that I have done. So let's take these three books here and rip them up. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rip them up. Just rip them apart, and I'm gonna be using some of uh, this Mod Podge. Why not, right? I've never used it, so I don't know how well it's gonna work. And I'm going to glue it here. So it's not gonna be that simple and easy. I really wanna make this a really cool, ambitious project. So I'm hoping to add some painting on top of it with some acrylic paint, and just see how it's all gonna turn out and see what I can create out of this. Okay, so let's get started on this and I'm going to first start off with just ripping up all these books here and creating a really cool texture to be painting on after. So let's do some really cool shots with that and go. Okay, so as you guys can tell here, I kind of organized it a bit in different categories. So we got all the ones that have tons of pictures or even just like really nice designs on them into this little pile and little pieces of scrap paper here, even though I'm gonna be ripping them up. These ones just kind of got ripped while I was ripping the books. And then we got the different ones that had the red edges, which are pretty cool there. That's gonna be really nice. And then we just got the typical all over twist ones here. I have a little bit of a dilemma here. As most of you may or may not know, a lot of my videos kind of are just me briefly talking like I'm doing now and then saying, all right, let's go to the next part or let's see how it turns out. And then it kind of goes into like a little montage slash like B-roll, whatever you want to call it, cinematic. 
thing. Now, what I'm wondering is, would you all like it better if I were to kind of talk and do the project, or do you like it when I'm doing more of the close-up shots and whatnot? I don't mind combining more of me talking with you all and kind of experiencing whatever's happening in front of me, because usually what I do, I do a little test strand and figure that out myself, and you don't all get to see that. Or do you prefer me just getting right to the point of it and showing the process being done? That's what I love to do. But I want everyone to really get to know me and who I am as an artist. So yes, this video would probably be a little bit longer because I'm going to try here to incorporate me trying to put this stuff on and seeing how it's going and then I will do also some cuts of some fun montage stuff. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, well this took a little bit to kind of try and figure out where I was going to place the camera in my art studio here to find a nice position that I can speak to you as well as work on this here. So I'm pretty sure this kind of works, you don't get to see the overall everything maybe i can set more cameras i'm unsure we'll see how this goes and if you like it please let me know down in the comments below if this is the kind of interaction that you all would really enjoy with me just talking and working as well as showing some cool shots yeah i don't know <laughs> it might be a little bit more raw and uncut it's gonna be a longer video that's for sure Let's get started with this. So I'm going to start off with just grabbing these ones here, which is going to be the ones with more pictures. Uh, for instance, this one here. I really like this big picture right here. I'm going to place it on the back, right, right here. So it's going to kind of lay like so. Now, or maybe down here a little bit. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is ripping the edges to give a really cool look to it. If you were in my position, what would you do? Would you leave all the corners and have like sharp corners? I'll show you kind of what I mean on this one here. The reason why I enjoy filming more of just what I'm doing instead of the interacting talking here is because I always listen to music and crank up my music in my art studio and that gets me in the mood, in the zone. So I'm thinking about doing it like this, kind of, cutting or ripping the edges, getting them all frayed, and you can even crimple it up a little bit and really get some texture in there, right? And then place it, okay? I think that's what I'm probably gonna do for most of it, and I will leave some edges on it as well, so when it overlays, it will be something like so. I think if we do it together, it might be a little comical because I don't know exactly how this is gonna turn out, but I do have three different brushes here. Sorry, four different brushes. So we'll try these ones. This one's really soft actually. It's like, oh, this feels like a kitty. <laughs> I'm not gonna use my nice brushes with some Mod Podge because knowing me, I'm not gonna wash it and it's gonna get all hard and gross and messy. So I'm gonna use these and brush it on and let's do together a little bit of the back here. So the first one that we have here is Professor Curie experimenting with radium. So I'm gonna place it like so, but I'm gonna rip up the edges like that. And then we don't need that. Ex explain who it was. The edges are really frayed and rip and I think that looks pretty cool and that's gonna go like so it's gonna be almost like a back tattoo I'm gonna put it right up in here now I'm thinking that I'm gonna place the Mod Podge on first and then do a little coat over it as it builds up like I'm guessing paper mache anyway so let's dip this here and wow See, this is where I'm thinking, oh my God, there would be some really cool shots here. I'm gonna get some dipping shots of the glue, me dipping the brush in the glue and it all pouring off. It's really fun and I will do those shots. But for right now, we'll, we'll try this out. 
Uh, it did say thing. I read the back. It did say do a thing coat. So I kind of lather stuff on. That's always what I do. So let's place this one here. Ooh, almost upside down. That would be interesting, but I don't know. I don't think I would like it. I really want to keep the shape of the mannequin here. So I really want to get keep all the dips and grooves and see how it goes. It dips in here a lot, right in here, it dips in. So I really want to get that pushed in there. So you got the gist of it. I got the gist of it. We can now kind of move on from this and I can do the epic fun montages with some really cool, unique shots. So let's get that started and then I'll come back to you all once when we're gonna get started with the painting or if anything crazy happened. So throw in the good shots, go! coming along great but sometimes I can get a little bit annoyed by this do you see it come here I'll show you come here look at look at oh Stevie he literally just sits on me all the time it's crazy and just sits there and cleans himself and I always have to readjust him and there's my little kitty Stevie tries to make it in most videos so this here is coming along great. What do you think? Wow, it's quite a process. It really, really is. I've been smoothing it out with my fingers a lot just to really get it nice and rounded along these edges to make sure that it has this still really smooth but a slight crinkly look to it. So I'm thinking the next thing that I'm gonna do is, well, besides finish this off here, I'm gonna try and figure out what kind of design I'm wanting to paint on this. I've been looking up a few things on Pinterest and I'm unsure what exactly I'm gonna be doing. Steve so will come back on the left. There we go, good boy. All right, let's finish this off, go.
just wanna leave it all behind Yeah, I'm breaking up with you tonight Yeah, you know it's hard to say Yeah, you know we're not okay I can see it in your face We became a lonely place Goodbye so Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. Wow, it still smells in here, so I gotta make it smell a little bit better with this. It smells so good. Oh. Okay, well, this is definitely helping. I'll just let this sit here and burn, and then we can hang out and talk. The next part that I'm gonna do is going to be putting a wash on this. I'll basically be taking this here and creating kind of, I believe, like a blacky brown wash and coating it all. Now this is all dry, so it's good. I feel like that once when I put a really nice coat here of some watered down acrylic paint, that it's gonna look really, really awesome. So let's get started with that. I know this is out of nowhere, but guess what? I figured out what I'm doing to this. So I, I was debating and I didn't know what I was gonna do, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do it. Like most of my other mannequins that drip paint stuff, if you haven't seen my last video on that mannequin, so it will be right up here. So, hey, okay, look at. So this is basically what I wanna do is create a dripping, kind of like an ink, like a texture. So it'll be something like this. I'm thinking that would probably look really cool, so I can kind of try it out and see what happens. So let's give it a shot. Okay, well, with everything going on lately, as you all know, it's uh, pretty crazy out there. So I'm stuck in the house, which isn't too, too bad because I'd probably be in here anyways. I'm going to be working on 
this statue still. So basically what I have figured that I'm going to do is I'm creating a little platform here for this book to sit on top of this book like so, like that. It's gonna sit like this for a stand for the mannequin to go on top of. But I feel like that it's not gonna be stable enough so I'm creating some reinforcements using some popsicle sticks. Using a glue gun here, using some Gorilla Glue Sticks. If you care about me at all, you should focus on your problems, not putting the blame on me. So I won't pick up call. I don't wanna talk about it. You know that we disagree. this mess look at it oh my gosh so you may be wondering why is this big mess here well I went upon it myself to just do this right here look at this it's all popsicle sticks that's right popsicle sticks and what I'm gonna do is actually paint the bottom the reason why I had to do this was because damn look at that it is sturdy. This thing is solid. Solid, solid, solid. So the last scene you did see me paint kind of that shadowy look in here. Main reason why I did that was because I kind of filled it up a lot with glue gun as well as this whole bottom is done with the Gorilla Glue and a whole bunch of popsicle sticks and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off kind of around the edges by sanding it and then I'm gonna be painting it. I wouldn't wanna be watching the painting, so why don't we go one, two, three. Wow, whoa, my clothes got changed and everything. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm just messing with you all. So this turned out great. Look at, oh, I glossed it as well and sealed it so it turned out good with the nice bottom black like that and all the top super shiny. So let's put the top mannequin part on here and see how it all looks. Okay, we are all done for today. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for staying to the end. If you have not yet, check out all my social media right here. I'm trying to get into the TikTok thing a little bit as well. And remember, subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff over here. Please do that. And till next time, please, please, please check out my other videos. And remember, stay ambitious. All right, see you next time.